They called it the most intense rivalry in EFC history. He believes that I will gas, and my response was I told him, ask your girlfriend. When Bahati and Duplessis were scheduled to fight at EFC 62, things got very intense. Yannick ruthlessly trash talked Drickus and even slapped him at the stare down. What are you gonna do? You'll do nothing. I'm the king of I'm, I'm the king of South Africa, you know. I, I own that place, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm gonna walk in there like a king. When they finally met in the hexagon, it was an explosive fight. Touch gloves if you want it. I've got your respect for corners. Just can't believe they wouldn't touch gloves. It's such a surprise. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, you can feel it in the air. This is something special. Oh, they, were, they really want to get at each other. <laughs> they see on their face and both of them. And here we go. Round one of a potential five. Round one brought to you by Seven Stars Energy. A big left over the top there by Trickus Duplessis. Man, you know they want to get at each other. In the black, it's Yannick Bahati. In the white, Drinkus Dupasi, and they are swinging with bad intentions. Yeah, Drinkus head hunting earlier on. Yannick Bahati's got those big bombs as well. Mm. Clash of the Titans. Good uppercut. Drinkus took a big shot Drinkus, there. but he also took a big lift from Bahati. If these two just turn it into a slugfest, I don't know what's going to happen. Right hand by Duplessy, now chases it up. Oh, it's it's a the big shot. right hand there, Bahati with the counter punch. But Drinkus is really going after This is the most aggressive I've ever seen Duplessy. Oh, Duplessy. I think this is the most aggressive he's ever been in his life. We've always criticized, he always gets the criticism that he starts off a little bit slow. Big 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 slow. He's trying to take a page out of Mikhail Oberman's book and trying to finish off Bahati early. He has to pace himself as well. He can't just throw that hard early on for the whole time. Now Bahati throws some shots, and Bahati's looking for the takedown. Duplessis has got a hold of his neck. Oh, though. my goodness, he's here we go. Go. That's a wrap. This. I think he's got him. He's, he's going to tap him. Duplessis has it. He is too strong. He's too strong. We're looking for the tap. Bahati is trying to hold on. Duplessis is squeezing for all his worth. He is a and strong he gets man. it. Drinkus did it. Oh, my goodness. He tapped Bahati. He is the king of the middleweight. He took him out. A little insult to injury. Wow. That first slap him in the face. Fuck. God. Wow. Trinkus wow. is the real deal. Wow. If you ever doubted it. Bahati is struggling to actually get to his feet. And he's probably seconds from being so completely unconscious. But you can see how much Drake has actually wanted this crowd. The second the fight started, wow. The crowd has expected very, very happy with this result. Hey, uh, throw that out the window. He doesn't start strong. That's done. That's over. You see that? You light a fire under wow. Drake's two foot knee and you get a pay. Still knocks. Taking the title. Two belts. That's history, Dirk. You've seen a lot of it. That's history. Drinkus Duplessis putting a beating on his opponent. The crowd is going bananas in this place. There's Bahati looking for that takedown. Drinkus just wrenching on that neck. It was in deep. You could see it there. He was cranking it in. Bahati tried to reset a couple of times, but you could see he was seconds from being choked unconscious. Squeezing, squeezing, and eventually he had to give up. There's no he hung else on to go. for a while. He hung up as long as he possibly could. This is a guy that knows the jiu-jitsu game. But you talk about that strength of Trickus Duplessis. Duplessis, the crowd losing their mind. He's sitting on top of the hexagon. Is, is he the, both the I'm going to ask you, is he the best fighter in EFC history? He has to be right now after doing is, this. Is he there? Did he make it? Doing the impossible. He's 23 years old. Oh, yeah. Two division champion. He did the impossible tonight to trick his defensive. My goodness, wow. is he on fire? That young man, there is no limits to where his career could go. He's taking it all in as trick his defensive. What a build up to this fight and the fairy tale ending for him. Getting the victory and finishing Bahati in the first round. He landed some crazy punches as well.
Martin the hard work was in trouble. He looked for the takedown. He didn't want any more of the stand up. And Drickers grabs that guillotine choke, and he was not going to let go of that until Bahadi's head popped off or until he actually tapped out. That was something special to behold. It was exciting. It lived up to it. It was a lot of fun, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go up to Shane the Duke Wellington. He will put a bow on it. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Brad Block has called a stop to this contest. One minute and 30 seconds into the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a guillotine. Champion of the world, Drickers Steel Knox Duplessy. I'm here with a very emotional Drickers Duplessy. Drickers, talk to us. Tell us what's going on in your mind right now. Oh, this is uh, indescribable. Even though this went to my thoughts a million times, I saw myself when knocking this guy out, beating him in the first round. I saw it a million times, but I never really imagined him feeling this good. And here I am. Guys, you are incredible. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, I just, uh, everybody here supporting me, my team. You all saw my hands tonight. It was the best shape my hands been ever. My coach, my neighbor, sir, he got, he got me these deadly weapons. And uh, he showed tonight. And uh, of course, my whole team and coach has got me ready to just get out of the end with the submission. And, to all the fans, it's just unbelievable walking out here. This is the biggest crowd I've ever seen. The loudest crowd I've ever seen. And that's what a still looks right should look like. Did you ever in your wildest dreams when you made your debut four years or so ago, you were very scrappy, very all over the place. Did you in your wildest dreams think you would stand here a couple of years later, a two division champion and seemingly unstoppable in the organization? Back then, no. Now, definitely. Um, it's, yeah, back then, you know, fighting in the EFC was the biggest thing in the world for me. And, you know, I'm standing with two belts and it's an unbelievable feeling. And thank you to the organization for giving me this opportunity. Thanks to Yannick for putting his belt on, on the line. And just one thing, talk is cheap, money buys the whiskey. Well, congratulations. You, sir, are a two-division champion in the Extreme Fighting Championship. Drink a stupid ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Yannick Bahadi. Yannick, you've played the villain absolutely perfectly the last year or so in South Africa. Where do you feel it went wrong for you tonight? Can you give us your thoughts on the fight? Um, uh, I obviously, I just can't, uh, I, got, I, got, I got a hell of a jump to the eye, so I was seeing double vision, so I was just trying try my best to survive, but he stayed on me. So I tried to take the fight to the ground to recover, but uh, obviously he's got a very sharp guillotine. I knew that, um, I'm a little bit disappointed in myself, obviously. I, I let my family and uh, my coaches down. I knew that was his technique, and, but uh, you know, I just want to say congratulations to Team CIT. Um, uh, without them, I wouldn't be the man that I am today. Well, we look forward to seeing you again. Very humble in defeat. Yannick Bahadi, ladies and gentlemen. And there it is. There is your middleweight champion, your welterweight champion. He got it done. He said his quest was he the best fighter ever, the best fighter in the EFC, the best pound for pound. And I think it's really hard to deny him that now after he just ran through our middleweight champion. What can't Drickus Duplessy do? I think that's the real question. There's no telling what's going to happen next with him, who's going to challenge him next, where he'll end up. He is truly one of the best welterweight and middleweights in the world. Absolutely incredible. You see the love he gets from the crowd. Drinkus Tupacy did what he set out to do. Fairy tale ending. Well, folks, we got more to come here from EFC 62. Stay with us.